Hey guys, welcome to episode 101 of Is This My Midlife Crisis? Because I just spent over $100 on a quarter scale Deadpool action figure doll by NECA. But here's the deal. This thing looks sick. This is highly collectible packaging we're seeing here with an out cover that you can remove that shows Deadpool without his face. It says, well, Deadpool without his mask, not without his face. It says, Deadpool Merc with the mouth. Ultimate Collector's one fourth scale action figure on the side. You can see some of the accessories, but yo, this is a box. Why are we talking 20 minutes about the box? You can just Google images of that. But yo, whoa, whoa, boom, more accessories. Let's open this guy up though. Yo, so let's take a check. Yo, let's take a second to check it out. We got some flames. We got some succulent meals, a chimichanga churro. We got a Mr. Deadpool kind of, kind of, Rapper aesthetic vibe here if you got what was that an, uh, an alternate cover to siege if you traded in a bunch of those Blackest night tie-ins. That's kind of what that feels like we have a an official exclusive Deadpool unicorn a head of Deadpool that with the tongue sticking out cool detail cool detail on that I will say for sure and then a hat for Deadpool and moving on over check this out This is the Deadpool in the box of course, though, what I'm seeing here, twisty ties! Yes, I hate twisty ties. If you've ever watched a video of me, you know that, but with NECA, you always get the twisty ties. Why do I hate them? Well, sometimes they leave marks on the figure, and hopefully that doesn't happen here, but you see some cool sculpting there with this guy. Some people might not like this costume. Some people might want a movie-oriented version, but your boy TTT, aka Triple T, enjoys it. And here are all the hands we get. We got some weapons. We got some more weapons. They just loaded this thing up with a ton of cool things, and that's not it, guys. We got these fireballs, and then we got words. We got another Deadpool with his brain and a cap, so you can see, you know, brain cap. Okay, I'm going to attempt to take 30 minutes to take this out of the box, but yo, for real, how do YouTube reviewers actually film videos with quarter scale toys? It's impossible, my dudes. Yeah, so it took about eight minutes to get all those twisty ties out. Not the longest, but not the shortest. Eight minutes of my life that I'll never get back. If you didn't like this video, don't forget to unsub. One thing I will notice, there are some parts of this that it looks like it's damaged, but I think that's actually quality. I actually think that's there on purpose, but you do see some portions of it where the paint kind of misses and stuff like that. You can see along the lines where the red meets the black. That tends to happen. Also, I'm seeing that the matte of the black sections, it's not the finest quality paint, so you might start seeing some marks in there and stuff like that, but for a, a, a quarter scale figure of this size and this proportion for this price, you're gonna expect to see non-perfection. Is outside the box with VHS tape for comparison of the scale, and you can see that he is quite large. He's a big guy. It's quarter scale, so this is coming in over 12 inches. Crazy, right? Yeah. So I'ma say this. I noticed some oddities about this guy when I took him out of the packaging, mostly on the back. You can see here that some of the packaging actually stuck to the back of his sword holder, whatever that thing is called. So it makes me think that this was rushed out of the factory instead of taking the time for the paint to dry. They put the paint still wet in the packaging on mine. Also, you can, if you can see what I'm talking about underneath the shoulder, they used some glossy paint on the shoulder and it's already coming off underneath. So that might just be excess material, but it leaves me a little nervous to articulate this guy some more. Usually we get some quality issues from NECA, but this is, uh, this is a bit unfortunate because that's really visible, but luckily for me, we do have something to put there that'll hopefully cover it up, so let's check it out as I replace the part there. All right, here he is with his swords tucked away in his sword holder, but you can still see some of the, uh, it's still showing there, which is a little upsetting in my opinion. Um, for, you know, I, I do say that for the scale at this price point, that's really, that's a really good, price for all you're getting for this. I paid about, I think like 105, maybe it was 115, but I think it was like somewhere around that shipped, which is incredible from Entertainment Earth. I saw it on Amazon for 140 and I was like, heck no. 
Yeah, let's check our, the articulation though before I move on. The head rotates, looks up barely a little and down a little, so you're not gonna get the most rotation out of that head, but it does move and you can do stuff with that. And it is a very expressive head sculpt, so it has that going for it. There is an ab crunch, which does bend forward and a little bit back. And you can see there that, that bend down. And at the shoulder, moves out and rotates completely. There is a bicep swivel, a double joint at the elbow, and the hand rotates. But I don't, is there a bend? There is a bend, but it's the paint that is present there. It's gonna crack as I'm seeing on mine, so that's, that's a little unfortunate. So to do that articulation, you kind of break the paint away. Uh, there's rotation at the waist. The leg, there are ratcheted joints, so you can hear that beautiful click, 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 click. You can do a, a split of about that much. Moves back about that much. Forward about that much, so not the most range. He can't be a Rockets All-Star, which is a bit of a bummer. I know, I know for me, I wanted my Deadpool quarter scale figure to be able to be a member of the Rockets, but that's not gonna happen. There isn't any rotation at the thigh. There is a double bend at the knee, and the foot moves up and down and bends at the toe. And we do have some swivel back and forth, which is nice. And look at that detail on the bottom of the shoe. I like that. Cool, that's articulation. Now let's see if the head swaps easily because that's something that's very important. If it's hard, what's the point of coming with extra heads? This was really easy to take off. We see some paint residue that's coming off on my fingers, which uh, that's never cool. Don't breathe that in, guys. <laughs> and then we just put the other head on there. And is it in? Yeah, that was really simple. And then we have this other unmasked Deadpool head, which instead of wearing a mask, he can wear a hat that says D cool, but of course I think it's not supposed to fit on this head because this is for the brain. Then you can put the pizza on his head. <laughs> it's Deadpool, guys. I don't get it, but it's it's pretty hilarious. Then we'll swap out this head for the third and final head included in this set, which is the Deadpool with the brain head. And this one, is, oh, this one did go in, caused a little bit of a struggle, and made me realize something I wanted to mention. The sword sheath on the back, it tends to pop out a lot. It's not the greatest mechanism to hold it in, and that's a bit unfortunate. Um, I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't know why they didn't just have this be a permanent structure on the body, but they had it not be that way. I'm sure there was a reason, whether it was uh, packaging or figuring out how to get this product to the shelf, it just made sense, but that's a problem issue I have found with the figure. Now let's throw the hat on, the backwards cap, and it does cover up the head so it can be backwards, it can be forwards, and boom, there you go. D cool, Deadpool, dead cool. And he has this chain that he can put around his head. Let's see if you have to take off the head to put it on, nope. So there you go. He's looking really chill, isn't he? Yep, Mr. D. Something kind of interesting I want to point out, the head with the brain comes with a top for the head to make the mask complete, but I don't see any difference really in the sculpt. They have different paint application. This one is much darker because of the wash, but I'm left pretty confused. I, could, I, I think they could have taken this as an opportunity to make a different Deadpool head, maybe with open eyes or something, or have this one be the one with the open eyes. But yeah, it's it's kind of odd how they have just that. So I can maybe have it. I don't I don't know, man. Oh, maybe that's what. No, huh? It's odd. But that's that's some cool detail. All right, and I'm, I was about to show you guys how to switch the hands, and I'm seeing this issue yet again. Is they painted over the joint that moves, so it's going to be really sticky. And once you move it. You're gonna get a loss of paint there. I don't know if that's something that you're really upset about, if you want to articulate it. I'd say if you want to articulate it, that's fine, move it. But if you wanna keep the aesthetic and that paint there, just just don't 
bend at the wrist. That's all you have to do because it is tough. Also, look at this hand. It's like he's rocking. All right, now let's just take a moment to see how difficult it is to swap out the hands because, all right, so that popped out. Let's see how easy it is to pop the hand in. That was really, really simple. Yeah, that looks more right. Now, I just want to point out how awesome the details are when you get a figure in this quarter scale. You get typing on the guns. You have this little Deadpool guy sitting there. It's just really fun. And you can tell that NECA went all out with this release. And even though it's kind of a re-release with more accessories, I think it's a suitable upgrade if you missed out on the previous one or if you just want to flip yours on eBay and upgrade, if you know what I mean. Uh, but this is just so, so well thought out, so well produced. I wonder who will be the second in this ultimate quarter scale line because this is just impeccable. This release is so sweet. And we do have these blaster effects for the guns. They do allow you to put them on them, which you can see that hole fits that gun. And then boom, Deadpool is shooting without a head. All right, and my last place of criticism before we leave this interview is with this really cool gun effect. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as I'd like to get it to stay in place on the gun. You just kind of have to put it there and hope it doesn't fall off. And it, it really does make it look awesome, but if you try and pose it, it's really fickle. But it gets the job done and you get an awesome pool like this that's just total Deadpool, totally going crazy. And I just kind of love this figure for all the accessories. And we could talk about can you ever have too many accessories? And with something like this figure, I think that the accessories make it. Maybe we have a bit too much, but in some ways I love everything you can do. So yo, I'm gonna sum it up and let you go on your day. This thing is pretty awesome. I would have swapped out personally the rapper aesthetic Deadpool for maybe a kawaii Deadpool, but overall, this is a super bargain for your buck, even though it is over $100. I can't believe I'm saying that. You get so much with this. The accessories make it super fun. You do have a little issues here and there with posing because I would have really liked to see some rotation in those thighs and some 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 more stuff there that'll allow you to do sicker poses but overall the accessories make up for that and uh, this is triple t recommended yo you can tell that NECA loves the source material and they had a lot of fun with this figure it's just a shame that we're probably never going to see a six inch figure of this guy from NECA which uh, it's unfortunate because a lot of people won't be able to pick it up because it's, it'll, it'll either be way too big as a scale or outside of their range monetarily. NECA did a good job and you should pick this up if you can handle the scale and handle the price point.